Hey there everybody, JT Bear here. Thanks for joining me on the Clean Valley Farms channel today. I thought we'd take a look at the uh, Honeyberry collection, the uh, two bushes that I thought were dead. Almost threw them out last year, I really did, because I was pretty sure they were both totally toast. But they've both come back. I've got leaves forming on uh, even the stump. I'll show you in a second of that second one. And what's really impressing me is I thought I needed two varieties of living honeyberry bush flowering at the same time in order to get fruit. But I think I'm getting fruit off of this uh, first one anyway. And I've got a little added bonus to throw in at the end of this that kind of explains why there's a new playlist and a new title for it. So uh, I guess I will take this opportunity to officially welcome you to uh, my semi-permaculture garden because after all, we're still renting. So that uh, once dead looking stump that I pruned everything off of has in fact decided to come back to life for me. I am so excited about that. This would be uh, the Hascat berries, I believe. The tag is in the greenhouse on the cuttings. But here is the Polar Jewel, clearly doing quite nicely. Well, let's see if I can find a couple of those fruit starts on there for you. Sorry about the garbage truck. I turned the corner just as I found it, but there it is. That is the beginning of a honeyberry, and there are quite a few of them here. Some more in there. Some more along there. So as the season progresses, we'll uh, finally get a chance to see what these look and taste like. I'm very excited. So far, that's pretty much all I've seen. So we found this today. $20, good garden investment. Actually, interesting video on that from Luke at MI Gardener. You should check out one of his most recent posts about uh, gardening and investing, or gardening, I forget what the name of it is, but anyway, he makes some pretty decent points in there. Who knows what this is? I know what this is because I checked out the tag, but this is an incredibly interesting leaf, even if it never produces fruit. But in theory, it is a black lace elderberry super fruit. That is a really cool looking plant. So now I have another variety of berry bush to throw in to my semi permaculture garden. So once we've got somewhere to set down our own roots, then I'll put these into, you know, a more permanent environment. <laughs> Alright. Well, until then, I guess I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, various fruiting bushes and small trees growing in assorted containers. So be it. it gives me lots of opportunities to check out air pruning and wicking and all kinds of fun stuff. Alright everybody, that's it for now. Looks like I got some rain clouds coming in and more garbage trucks rolling by. So this is JT Bear for Clean Valley Farms saying thanks for joining me and have yourselves a fantastic day.